Today we're going to do a quick roundup, see where I'm at, see where you're at, see where we're at, and put all of what I've been preaching into practice. Guys, welcome back to the RopeDye.com video blog. And did you have a good Christmas? I, a little bit late, but uh, happy Christmas. I hope you had all your friends, family, and everything around. I hope you ate too much. I hope your jeans are too tight. Ah, over here in Berlin, I had, a, I had an amazing time. Um, I had all my friends around about me. Sadly, I didn't get back to see the family this year, but I had my dad over earlier in the month, and I managed to teach my mom how to use Skype, so that was perfect. And I'll go and see them, yeah, sometime in the new year, sometime early in the new year. Anyway, let's get on with things. We are on the home stretch. Over the past few episodes, we've been discussing the essentials of getting that perfect pair of jeans, as I'm sure you know. And those are budget, fit, denim weight, and size. So, right, way back when, I uh, setting our budget. This is the first step because it's going to have an influence in all the steps to come. Breaks down like this comes in terms of the fact that these things are going to cost more than what you're used to. The flip side of this is you get much, much more bang for your buck. A better garment, um, especially if compared to like supermarket jeans. Determine the features you want. All these geeky little features like hidden rivets, line back pockets, or a special denim, they cost more. Just be aware of this. Take your time and be patient. Save up for the jeans that you really want. Don't blow your wad on the first game in town. Head over to the full breakdown of how I set the budget and all the explanation for all the points I just mentioned. I'm going to put the link down below. So, how much am I going to spend on my jeans? I'm going to go right up there around the $300 through the euro mark. I know, trust me, I know this is a lot of money to spend on an item of clothing. But denim is my passion. It's what I dedicate a large portion of my time to. It plays a pretty important role in my life. And when I think of it in these terms, 300 bucks, it's not all that much. Actually, I got into this with a mate of mine the other day. We're there, chilling on his couch, topic of jeans came up. He was looking for a new pair. I glanced down at his ragged H&M jeans and thought, cool, I can help you. Before I could go into extolling the virtues of raw denim, he just asked, how much are these things? How much are the jeans you're wearing? I was wearing a pair of Indigo Fieras. Um, these were around about 250-ish. <laughs> what, are you nuts? Yeah, okay, but I can find you a pair, like a really good pair for like, 150 if we look around? Forget it. I can get three or four prayers for that price and I just need the one. Then I take a glance around. Right in front of us is this like huge TV. Some box that might be a DVD player. I've not seen one in a few years. PlayStation, numerous games, a pile of vinyl, no record player though. And come to think of it, I rarely see this dude in the same getup twice. He has a shit ton of clothes. I don't have a TV, I hate the things. I'm not even sure what a PlayStation is these days, and I certainly wouldn't know where to find the hole to stick the discs in. I don't have that many clothes, considering what I do. The big TV, the PlayStation, big wardrobe, there's nothing wrong with this, it's just a different in priorities. Nothing more. Although, if I put a hole in my jeans, they look better. If he puts a hole in his TV, well, you get the idea. The records are the record player, that is a bit daft. Okay, but anyway, next up we have Fit. I've said it before, I'll say it again, fit and size, different things. Too much to go into here, but basically find out from the vlog on fit if you're either looking for a specific look or the perfect pair of jeans for your lifestyle and your body type. If it's the second, then figure out if you're mesomorph, ectomorph or endomorph and choose your fit accordingly. Myself, I'm a chubby mesomorph with massive thighs. Just, would you look at this thing? This, this... I have beavers chasing me. The animals. Guys, you and your dirty minds, come on. I might have these massive thighs because genetically, I am a Scottish farmer made for wandering around the hills. I also spend most of my time riding around town on a bike. This could also have something to do with it. The bike here is the important point. I don't want excess fabric flapping around like this and getting caught in my chain because this happens. Nor do I want my ass hanging out when I'm weaving in and out of traffic. Accidents happen that way. So, I'm looking for a slim, straight cut with a taper with a mid to high rise. Probably more towards the mid though. Right, so that's my fit sorted. Next up, weight. This is the part I just split into like three vlogs. It's such a big subject. Basically, denim weight is measured in ounces per square meter. Higher the number, the thicker the denim. Lighter denim will have a more uniform vintage fade. 
The heavier the denim, uh, you're going to get more dramatic results for the fading. Uh, I'll pull up this graph again because it took me so damn long to do it, I want to get my money's worth. It shows that the heavier the denim, the more room you need in terms of fit when it comes to actually being able to survive the breaking in process. For myself, I'm looking for slim to regular fits for the reasons I mentioned earlier. I need to have a good amount of movement but also spend a great deal of time on my jeans and I'm quite active, so I need a durable denim. Experience has shown me that around about 14 ounce denim is the perfect weight for most of the year. The heavier denims, they're just not my bag. The denim is too heavy to be practical in the slimmer fits and the roomier fits are just, they're not my thing. But man, there are some beautiful heavy denims out there. I, I wish I wasn't such a wimp. I just throw in here that recently, the virtues of lighter weight denims have become apparent to me. But I'm going to talk more on this later. So, now we've nailed down how much I'm going to spend, the fit, the denim weight, I can now go looking for jeans. But wait, one more essential part. The right size, right? Now, as earlier, what did I say? Now, say it with me. Size and fit, two different things. Now keep on repeating this, it's your mantra. Over and over and over. Your best way to get the right size, and indeed right fit, and denim weight, just your best way to get jeans is in a store. There's no substitute for being able to try on multiple pairs of jeans from multiple brands in multiple styles and multiple weights of denim. That's a lot of multiples, right? Anyway, but if you're going to buy mail order, you have to measure an existing pair of jeans that fit you well so you'll be able to compare your measurements with that on the site you're buying from. Easy as that. On the vlog about size, I go into how you should measure your jeans in depth. Head over, check that out. It's going to save you time, it's going to save you money, and it's going to save you hassle in the long run. As you'll see, I have a list of measurements that I can compare with the measurements of the various jeans you'll be looking at. Now it's just a case of looking around and finding the jeans you want. If you thought the process up to now was tough, this is the hardest part. There are just so many good jeans out there these days. We're, we're spoiled for choice. One way you could narrow down the search is the useful tools that the guys over at Heddles made. Their denim scout or just scout or, or whatever. Anyway, this is an awesome tool. You can dial in the exact measurements, brand, color, denim, country of origin, all the aspects we discussed. There's also a store scout too. Maybe you have the world's best denim store just around the corner from you. You just never knew it. Head over to Heddles and find out. So guys, I'd encourage you to review the previous videos first. I gloss over a few important topics here. Once you've done that, just go ahead and go. Find your perfect pair. In the next vlog, we'll be seeing exactly what pair I decided on. I'll explain why and I'll give you the number one most essential thing you should do with your new jeans. Until then, guys, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we really appreciate it when this happens, we get all excited inside. That can be like a late, late, late Christmas present you give us. That'd be awesome. Guys, till next time, I appreciate you tuning in. It was great to see you again, be seen again. Great to have you here and I'll see you in the next vlog.